Hello, my friends! My name's Sam Cake, and welcome back to the live okay, streams. Time to get dressed for the day. Part two. Part three of episode two, I mean. God, don't disturb me! Gosh, stupid person. So, we came back to my room after having a shower, and we got this message on our wall in our bedroom. It's saying, what about a message with me? <sighs> Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Seriously? Someone did that. That's really cool, but wow. That is disgusting. Wow. Got my head on a platter. Gee whiz. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. They're going to... They're going to... Um... What's called my toy? My cuddly bear. They're going to rip it apart. Take off his head. No book here. Alright, let's get changed. I don't want to see just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Let's see. Slip and top. She likes deers. I mean, she was wearing a deer top yesterday. That's it alone. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Well done. Okay, move. Be gone, foul soft drink. You didn't mean really move it, Miss, did you? Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. This is so insane. In this wormhole, I would and okay, I thought I was that. into Halloween. Dana is not messing around. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Art facts. Do we look at these? Cartier, Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Alright. Let's go and go see Kate. I'm really worried about her fam. Private number. Keep a smart mouth shut about everything on camera to your ass. I know where you sleep. Really? Really? I forgot his name. He's just not worth my time. Wow. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. Yeah. This has to be from Nathan. Although... But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. To be honest... I'm not already. I think it's making us think it's Nathan, but it's not actually Nathan. I just have that feeling about it. I mean, it's too obvious to be Nathan. Fine, I won't disturb you. I don't know. We'll see. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. You need more light. Girl. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and yeah. oh, positive. Picture doesn't look like happy in a way. I mean, it's colorful and stuff, but it looks like everything's got it's like problems everywhere. Like that guy, that guy fell over, and that guy is sad about some ice cream or something, and that was everyone's got like a box of tissues or something. I don't know. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Oh, he called us. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from your principal Rouse about you and some party fidget. Our concerns about sending you to Black Rouse seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We will pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. I'm out. Can I say anything else on the look at? Kate is all no. alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. 
Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Safe nor sorry, no matter how much you like each other, one slip up can change your life. You have a choice, there's nothing wrong with waiting. No more details, okay. I don't know, I don't believe that. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Proverbs 21.15 And when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Yeah. It's true. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Mm. I want my doing. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. It really is really emo here. What is that? Gigantic hand. That's cute. Postcard. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, but darkness comprehend it not. John 1 5. Katie, you'll always be my vice of light against the dark. Here's in love, pop. <laughs> that is adorable. Tissues. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Wow. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Katie's a good mommy. He is a really cute bunny. He looks scared though. Come on, you need a bright up to take care of a bunny. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. <laughs> Be on a few. Yeah. Ouch. She left out damnation. Dear Kate, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that fidget tape. And like a Jezebel, you released your helot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Wow. I really want to see this fidget tape. I'm really like curious of what it actually is about. Wait. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Nathan. It was Nathan. He drugged um, Chloe before, didn't he? And he was with a camera and he did it the same with Kate. Oh my god. No way. Oh god. Nathan. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. I'm not surprised. Okay, I think we looked at everything, apart from Kate. Okay. It was, it has to be him. Wait, did we look at that? Good lord. Oh yeah, we did. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. She doesn't. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about the video? What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. 
Should I watch it? Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. She got dragged. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Did you go? I know it's Nathan. Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How yeah. do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. That's disgusting. He drugged her and... Can I talk to her one last time? Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth... Why do you have doubt in her? Of course she's telling the truth. Can you not see it? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. I'll be Absolutely, honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that time. He hurt you. Should I go to the police? Okay, this is tough because when Nathan threatened it before, he was saying about the police and how he has control of them or something. So, should we really go for the police straight away or should we look for proof? But what proof is there going to be? It might be really difficult to go get some proof and to be fair, if we're going to go to the police, they're going to help us with getting through. So maybe we should just go to the police. But Nathan is going to be even harder on her. It's going to be even harder on Kate. So uh, do we want to risk pushing Kate down even more? Into a an abyss? Into an abyss, I say. A dark abyss. Or... I mean, she might have some sort of security about it. I don't know. Um, we're gonna go to the police. We're gonna go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Yeah. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, yeah. but... 
we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Yeah, but you're right. I mean, there's two, if he goes prison principal as well, there's two people saying bad things about Nathan. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. <sighs> you should go Jesus, for it. This is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. I do believe it. I'm going with that. I don't care. I'm going with that. I believe every word she said. And. <sighs> yeah, she should go to the police. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. I like emoji. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do, so let's go. I'm looking Bob looking around again. It takes ages to look around. So, let's leave the girls' dormitories. Let's leave the girls' dormitories. Yay! <laughs> oh, dear. Look at all those birdies. So pretty. Samuel! Hi, buddy! Oh, it's a little buddy. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. I oh, asked it. Hello, young Max. I do young love Max. the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Snow. So. What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Yeah. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I love he swears. I cannot imagine him swearing, really. That's one thing I truly <laughs> love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. You can hear them whisper. What animals can you see? my interior ears. I saw a doe. Don't laugh, yeah, but does. I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. It is trying oh, to communicate. That's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Mine's a bunny. I don't know actually now. I'm just going to say it's a bunny. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of Bye. Course you will. Of course you. Will. That sounds hot. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me later, Squiffle? Can't Blackwell oh, have at least one no football? I thought it was a Squiffle. All right, totem. Warren told me that totem is named Tobango for Tabanga. a reason nobody knows. Hot. Release the kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Look at it! Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Woo! That's so cute! We got another picture. I'm gonna get another achievement. Look at the achievement. Yeah! Full explosion. Explosion? Exposure. Right. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. Yeah. And too easy to sneak into. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Oh. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? 
Oh, you can talk to Sammy I've about it. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Jeez. Sammy's crap. It's is Sammy's box, isn't it? I've never yeah. seen Samuel Sammy wearing stuff. shades. And what's with this other crap? Huh. And this is someone else. It's really weird. Right. Uh, okay, we unlocked a new conversation with him. So we're going to talk to him. See what he has to say about all this. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while well, prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Yeah. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Really? Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Oh. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I feel I like so I shouldn't have done that. I get in the way of your morning ritual. Of course you will. But oh well. I should be worried, but I'm not going to bother. I didn't say there's any consequences, at least. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here of Life is Chains, part 3 of episode 2. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it is so very appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. For my social media is down below, right there. And that's it for this video of Life is Chains, episode 2, part 3. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a cake task today. Bye bye! And you have a not shotgun in your house, oh, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a weird person. Oh, like that. Like it's Griffo! It's so cold! I love Griffos! I love Griffos! <laughs>